Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with a Princess. Today we will be reading out of the 5 Minute Princess Stories book. The story is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, a big surprise. Snow White and her prince had recently been married and they were living happily at the castle. The Seven Dwarfs missed Snow White, but she made sure to visit them often. One spring day, Snow White went to the dwarf's cottage. The dwarfs were not expecting to see her, but the princess had a very special surprise planned for them. Hmm, what do you think the surprise is? Snow White knew the dwarfs worked hard. That day, she wanted to make sure that when they got home, they didn't have any more work to do. No dusting, no sweeping, and no cooking. Snow White waited until the dwarfs had left. Then she and her animal friends hurried into the cottage. The princess looked around. By the time the dwarfs got home tonight, our surprise will be ready. So they set to work. Snow White sang a cheerful song as she swept the cottage floor. The birds chirped while they picked up crumbs. The squirrels used their fluffy tails to dust, and the chipmunks and deer washed and dried the breakfast dishes. With so many helpers, Snow White had the downstairs gleaming in no time. Next, they went upstairs, and the princess began to make the beds. Pull the covers up tight, she told the bunnies, then fold down the top. There, that's perfect. The bunnies hopped off to start on the other beds. Before long, every inch of the dwarf's cottage was neat and tidy. Snow White and the animals headed outside to gather fresh berries, nuts, and apples to use in the dwarf's supper. They'll be getting very hungry after their long day, said the princess. Luckily, the blueberry bushes had lots of ripe fruit, and the basket was filled. I know what we'll make for dessert, Snow White told the rabbits. Blueberry pie! Next, the princess and her friends strolled into a meadow to find some wildflowers. Lovely, said Snow White as she sniffed a blossom. These will be perfect for the table. What's your favorite kind of flower? Back inside the cottage, Snow White and her friends got to work fixing supper. There was soup to be simmered, bread to be made, and pie to be baked. Before she knew it, the late afternoon sun was casting long shadows across the window panes. Tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp. A bluebird was singing outside the window. That was the signal to tell Snow White that the doors were almost home. Snow White and the animals hurried outside and hid. She couldn't wait to see what the dwarfs thought of their surprise. She peeked in through the window. When they got inside, the dwarfs stopped and stared. They could not believe their eyes. The floors were swept, the room was tidy, and there was even a freshly baked pie cooling on a windowsill. What's that delicious smell? Doc wondered. Look, cried Grumpy as he pointed to the table which had been set. Then he went to the pot of soup. Someone's been in our house. Hmm. Uh-oh, do you think they, they like their surprise? Let's find out. The dwarfs were confused. They tried to guess which dwarf had done all this. Doc noticed that Happy's smile was especially big. Was he keeping a secret? Dopey pointed out that Sneezy seemed extra sneezy. <laughs> Maybe because he had dusted and swept the cottage. Soon, Snow White giggled as she listened outside the window. <laughs> They'll never guess that we did it, she whispered to her animal friends. When the dwarfs started to eat their pie, Snow White quietly headed home. Hmm, do you think they'll ever find out who really did it? Inside the cottage, Bashful had one more guess. Whoever was behind the surprise would have had to have been one tired dwarf. And who seemed the sleepiest? <laughs> Why, Sleepy, of course. The truth was, Sleepy wasn't the only one. After a long work day, their tummies pleasantly full and all seven dwarfs were ready for bed. When they climbed the stairs, the dwarfs found one last treat. Seven neatly made beds and seven perfectly fluffed pillows. As they drifted off to sleep, the dwarfs decided to tell their good friend Snow White about this wonderful surprise the very next time they saw her. Hmm, do 
Do you think Snow White told the dwarves about who really did the surprise? Tell me in your comments below what you think.